students now today we will discuss the chapter which is called measurement of pressure in this chapter we are going to study some devices which are used to measure the pressure or pressure differences or there are some laws related to pressure that we are going to study in this chapter okay so let's go now first theory of this chapter which is pascal's law i think you heard this word pascal in your 12th science i think in physics okay so thin theory uh, so that thin theory we are uh, uh, going to deal with uh, in this chapter with term in pressure okay so the pascal's law indicates that pressure or intensity of pressure in this chapter remember that two terminology which are same pressure and intensity of pressure that both are the same terminologist okay so pressure or intensity of pressure at a point in a static mass of fluid here fluid is in static means fluid is in steady condition so pressure or intensity of pressure at a point in a static mass of the fluid is equal in all the direction in a static fluid the pressure is equal by all the direction this is a statement of your pascal's law now we are going to derive this law for that you are going to you just refer this diagram that in this diagram there is a triangular element there is a triangular element of water particles a uh, element the shape of element is triangular now in triangle a b and c the length of just c what i am saying in this diagram the length of side ac the length of side ac is dx the length of side ab which is vertical that is by and the length of side bc which is inclined and that is ds so in this triangle there are three sides ac equals to dx ab equals to dy and bc equals to ds now remember that in pascal's law if we are saying small p small p indicates pressure and capital p indicates forces you have to remember this do not uh, 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 okay. capital p indicate force and small p indicates pressure okay so in this diagram on surface ab which is vertical on surface ab the pressure force is acting px on ab the force is acting is px on ac which is horizontal the force is acting py which is upper direction and ps is px is acting in horizontal direction py is acting in vertical direction and on surface bc bc which is inclined the force is acting pz but here px is horizontal and py is vertical pz is acting inclined here pz force is acting inclined here at angle theta so there are two components of pz because there is a inclined force here so first is pz sin theta vertical component and second is pz cos theta horizontal component so in this diagram first of all length of ab is dy ac is dx and bc is ds force on ab is px force on ac is dx and force on bc is pz acting inclined there are two components vertical pz sin theta and horizontal pz cos theta okay now weight of this triangular element is acting in downward direction weight of this whole element is acting in downward direction now we will go for derivation part this is again your diagram here now let us consider the following terms px pressure in x direction 
on face AB. P by pressure in y direction on AC and P z pressure in z direction over face DC. Now there are forces acting on this element R. First is normal force due to pressure by the fluid. The, the, in this element, it is surrounded by static fluid. So, first force is pressure by the fluid, which is static. And second is force due to weight of this element, due to self-weight of this element, which is in vertical direction. Now, first of all, small p is your pressure and capital P is your force. So, pressure force on AB is, what is the equation for pressure? What is the equation for force? Force equals to pressure into area. Force equals to pressure into area. So now on surface AB, if you are considering surface AB, AB, then on AB surface pressure is Px and area of AB is dy into dz. dy into dz. Width is width is Unity. So your pressure force on AB is Px which is your pressure. Force equals to pressure into area. Here pressure is Px and area is dy into dz. Same for pressure on BC that is Pz pressure and area is Bs into dz. Now third for surface AC pressure is Py and area is dx into Dz. So, these three are the value of forces for surface AB, AC and BC. Now, as we know that weight of the element W which is in downward direction. What is the equation for W? W equals to M into G. Mass into G. Okay. What is equation for mass? M equals to rho into V. We derived this equation earlier that M equals to rho into V because rho equals to M by V. So, M equals to rho into V into G. So, if we are replacing, what is the equation for area? Area of this triangle half into base into height. Half into base into height. So, here volume that is area into height. Height is dz. An area that is half into dx into dy, half into dx into dy into dz into rho into g. This is the equation for weight where volume into rho into g and you replaced volume by area into height. Area that is half base into height. So half into dy into dx into dz. Height is dz into rho into g. This is equation of w, the weight which is acting in downward direction. Now, this is our diagram. If we are resolving forces in horizontal direction, remember that first of all we are resolving forces in horizontal direction. So, as per this diagram, which forces are acting horizontally? First force which is Px and second which is Pz cos theta. There are two forces. First is Px. Second is Pz cos theta. Any other force is there? No. So there are only two forces which are acting horizontally and by resolving these forces Px minus Pz cos theta equals to zero. So your equation is Px is your force here. If I am converting this force into pressure, then your terms become Px into dy into 1 minus Pz into ds cos theta equals to 0. Here we will uh, apply the equation of cos theta where cos theta equals to ds by t1. So you can replace dy equals to ds cos theta. Theta. So, your, by rearranging this equation, your first equation is Px equals to Pz. Dy, dy is cancelled. 
So your equation is Px equals to Pz. This is your equation number one. Resolving forces in horizontal direction. Now, if we are resolving forces in vertical direction, then first force is Pz sin theta. Second force is Py, and the third force, which is what wave acting in downward direction. So, resolving forces vertically, you get this equation that force you convert that force into pressure, then Py into dx into 1 minus Pz into ds into 1 into sin theta minus this equation is for weight, the equation of weight minus half dx into dy into rho into g equals to 0. In both horizontal and vertical direction, we take dz equals to 1. Remember that here dz equals to 1. So by neglecting the weight of this element, this element is very small. So you can neglect weight of this triangular element. By neglecting weight, your equation becomes py equals to pz. Py equals to pz. This is your equation number 2. Now you can see that in equation number 1, what is equation 1? Px equals to pz. What is equation number 2? Py equals to pz. Now, if you compare these two equations, Px equals to pz and Py equals to pz. Then, from equation 1 and 2, you get this equation that Px equals to Py equals to pz, which means that at any point in a fluid, which is at rest condition, pressure is equally on all the direction. Px equals to Py equals to Pz indicate that pressure is equal in all the direction in a static fluid. So, hence we proved this is your statement of Pascal's law and we proved in terms of equation that Px equals to Py equals to P. Z. Okay, so this theory was our Pascal's law, and there are some applications in our routine life. In our daily life, we are using some devices where Pascal's law is applied practically. First is your hydraulic lift, hydraulic jack, hydraulic brake, and hydraulic pumps. These are the devices where Pascal's law is practically applied for distributing pressure equally in all the direction. As you can see that in a lift, pressure is applied in all the direction equal. Or in a hydraulic jet, if it lift up your car, then pressure is applied equally in all the direction by water in that car. So that are the applications of Pascal's law, lift, jet, brake and pumps. Okay. So now, in next session, we will discuss some equipments we are, that are using to measure the pressure. Thank you.